Here we are in Bridge. You can think of Bridge as the equivalent of your computer desktop. It doesn't actually import files into itself, but it uh, allows you to access files wherever, wherever they are on your computer and do some amazing, wonderful things, which you'll learn about in this lesson. So the first thing I would like to show you is this right up here. I am seeing images that are on my computer, on my external hard drive in this folder, with the, which has this folder, which has this folder, which has this folder, which has these pictures. And down here, I can make those images bigger. If I click on an image, it will tell me information about that image, but it also works not only with Photoshop, but all of the Adobe programs as the image and file organizer. Um, it has tools for Photoshop and Illustrator that lets you do certain things. It is the launcher. Uh, so if I double click on any image, it will launch Photoshop. And then I have mine, my Photoshop preferences set to open it up in Camera Raw. So double clicking on any image will actually open it up in the, in the program that it's meant to open in. And one of the important things to know about Bridge is that right here, this is where you find your your files. All right. So I have favorites here, which are defaults. I can add more favorites by dragging a folder over here and it will appear in my favorites. So if I have a folder that use that I use very often, I can add that folder. So let's, for example, uh, let's go to my computer to my uh, my uh, home on my Macintosh here and let's say that often I have things that end up in my downloads folder so I can drag that downloads folder right over here and it acts as a shortcut right into my into my downloads I can also use this like the Finder window in Macintosh or, or on your PC. So I can say, well, on my computer, I have my main hard drive, which would be my C drive if this were a PC. And these are external drives that I've put in here. If I had a flash drive plugged in, it would show up. And if I had an SD card plugged into my computer, it would show up here. In another video, we'll show you how to import images from Bridge right from your camera. So, for example, on my hard drive, if I open this up, I have my photos right here, and I can click on a folder and then see those photos there. And then from that point, if I double click on any image, it will open it up in the, in the program that it is set to open up in. So in the case of JPEG images and Camera Raw images and TIFF files and things like that, they are set to open up in my Photoshop program. All right. One thing to note is that here in your preferences, you have camera raw preferences and your regular preferences. So if you go into the preferences here, file type associations, this is where all the different files, uh, where Bridge stores all the different file information. So for example, 
if it were one of the old Macintosh picked files, which ends with .pct or .pict, it's set to open up in Adobe Photoshop on my computer. But I can change that by just clicking here and choosing one of the other programs on my computer to be the default, and then clicking OK. Another thing that you can do here is you can go into your camera raw preferences and here I've it's it's usually set to automatically open JPEGs with settings but I preferred to have it open all JPEGs in camera raw first just because that's my workflow and automatically open all supported TIFF files so if I didn't have that set that way, double-clicking on a JPEG would open it up in Photoshop. But the way that I've set it up here in the Preferences, it will open up in Camera Raw. Now see, this is a .psd file, a Photoshop file, and so it opens up directly in Photoshop. So that's a brief introduction to the purpose of Bridge, it is to be literally a bridge between all the, the Adobe programs in the Creative Cloud Suite. And it also acts as a great tool and a launcher, but it doesn't actually store your files. Your f files are actually stored somewhere else. And in fact, a, a final comment is that you can move files, you can copy files, uh, just right mouse button clicking on any, it will give you many choices. If I drag an image out, it's going to make a copy of that on my desktop like that, just as if I were dragging it out of a, a folder. Uh, anyway, a wonderful product.